Hey guys, it's me Astrid and today I wanted to talk to you about how to find fragrant phalaenopsis orchids in the store. Now, not everyone is going to be near a store that offers fragrant phalaenopsis orchids. However, um, especially if you're in the US and you have Trader Joe's available to you, they do get fragrant phalaenopsis orchids in from time to time. And I wanna to describe to you the way I kinda of go about guessing which ones are fragrant, take them home and find it out. So there are four things that I look for in a potentially fragrant phalaenopsis. And this is a lot of guesswork, but it has ha I have success with it. So the first thing is, does it look like a fragrant species? The second thing is, what is the texture and consistency of the flower? The third thing is, what do the leaves look like? And the fourth thing is, do I detect any fragrance whatsoever in the orchid at the store? And these four things I'm going to go ahead and discuss. So there are three really well-known species Phalaenopsis orchids, and I'm sure quite a lot more that have fragrance. Um, actually, I suppose there's, there's four. So we first have Phalaenopsis bellina, which is gorgeous and one of the most well-known, and I'm gonna try to buy this summer. Uh, next, we have Phalaenopsis violacea. Third, we have Phalaenopsis schilleriana, and a giant Phalaenopsis schilleriana won the international orchid competition in uh, Thailand, I think it was held, and you should check out pictures of that because it's mind-boggling. I'll put it in my description, a link of that. And fourth, we have um, the Sideria japonica. Um, we also have Phalaenopsis cornus cervi and a few others that I believe are fragrant, but these are the ones that are pretty well known and easy to see and um, common among orchid growers. Now, you may be saying, Astrid, really, are Phalaenopsis orchids really actually fragrant? Yes, they are. If you're new to the hobby, you may be surprised by this because a lot of Phalaenopsis orchids at the stores that we see think those typical big white arching expanses of these beautiful moth orchids are so hybridized that they lose the smell. They've been bred and bred and bred and bred and bred and then the smell disappears because it's no longer necessary because these are artificially pollinated and the plant kind of loses it along the way. I don't know how to explain that genetically, but that's what seems to happen. However, me discussing these species, they are indeed fragrant. They attract pollinators with their fragrance. This is reasonable. Now, when we go to the store, we need to look for orchids that look like those species. If you have a primary hybrid, for instance, you're taking one species and breeding it to another and making a primary hybrid, which is species to species bred. And even a couple generations down of some hybridization, you still may get some fragrance, which is super cool, right? Yes. So when we're going to the store looking for these Phalaenopsis orchids that might be fragrant, look for flowers that resemble the species. For example, this one, this is, um, I think it's called Phalaenopsis pin long cherry. I just made a video about it. This one dropped a bunch of its blooms because of the damn heat wave we're having. And, uh, but it resembles Phalaenopsis schilleriana. It's pink. I don't know its parentage at all, but it's pink blushing colors and it has mottled leaves like Phalaenopsis schilleriana. So this was, um, one that I picked up not thinking it would be fragrant, but wound up being fragrant, which was exciting. If you see orchids that look similar to Phalaenopsis violacea, Bellina, etc. at the store, there's a good probability that they could be fragrant when you take them home. Next thing I want to talk about is the structure and substance of the flowers. I don't have an example of this, and there is an orchid I extremely regret not buying a week or two ago that looked like a hybrid of Phalaenopsis bellina or violacea, and it had waxy petals. So if you find a small Phalaenopsis orchid that has pointy petals and sepals rather than the rounded off ones, but we want pointy ones, and the 
the petals are thick and waxy in substance, this is also likely to be a fragrant orchid. Um, just look for that. You know, a lot of the times these hybrids that we always see in the store have these thin, flimsy petals and sepals, but the ones that might be fragrant are a lot more structured and thick petaled and sepaled. Another thing we look for is the leaf pattern. So, um, on this one, like I just mentioned, this has mottled leaves. Now, this could be, may not always necessarily be, an indication that the orchid is going to be fragrant. So if you find a Phalaenopsis with interesting leaves, you should venture a risk in buying it and see what happens when you take it home because there is a chance that it will be fragrant if it looks like this. Because I think a lot of Phalaenopsis orchids that are fragrant tend to have this some sort of leaf pattern that is atypical of very hybridized orchids. However, if you know what Phalaenopsis bellina and Violacea look like, you know that those do not have mottled leaves, yet they are some of the most fragrant Phalaenopsis in the entire genus. So take that with a grain of salt, but this could be an indicator. Another indicator with the leaves is if we take my this Phalaenopsis, which I just bought yesterday because I thought it would be fragrant, this one has an almost orangey color to the leaves, though that is difficult to see, but if I hold it up next to my super hybridized mystery fowl that I have yet to rebloom, um, you can see this. these leaves are green and these are kind of a, have an orangish tinge. As long as you're certain that this is not a symptom of disease, you should go for it and see maybe this is fragrant. These abnormal types of leaves tend to be a hint to me that the orchid will be fragrant. And finally, the subject of does it have a slight smell in the store? Now, when I was in the store looking at this orchid, um, foul pin long cherry, it had absolutely no fragrance detectable whatsoever. In fact, even a week after I had it was it didn't have any fragrance. It really took a while for the fragrance to come out of this orchid. So if an orchid is not fragrant at the store, that does not necessarily mean that it won't be fragrant in your home. Sometimes you have to wait. And a lot of these little mini orchids are pretty cheap, under 10 bucks. So for me, it's always worth the risk of buying it to see. And then fowls are pretty and they stay in bloom for a while. So it's not a, unless there's a heat wave. So, um, that it's, it's worth it to take that risk. Now, if we look at this orchid, this orchid did have a hint of fragrance in the store, which is real cool. Um, it had just some slight, I don't know, it smelled maybe a little bit like earwax or cotton or something, but it, there was something coming out of it. And much to my delight, I'm smelling this orchid today, and um, it has a lovely fragrance. Now, I can't necessarily comment completely on what the ultimate fragrance of this Phalaenopsis will be, but as of right now, it for me, it's smelling a lot like the Nelly Eiler. And I know I compare a lot of orchids to smelling like the Nelly Eiler, but I really think that there is a pattern to the fragrances of orchids that I could verify, chemically speaking, if I had the technology and the time and the money to do it. And this smells so freaking good. Um, and it's just got these gorgeous little flowers. Now you can see these flowers are small. The petals are a little bit abnormal and the lips somewhat resembles, you see this round structure to the lips, somewhat resembles those species orchids that have a fragrance. So this is, this has a lot of the indicators that it would be fragrant. I bought it and it was fragrant. It barely resembles species orchids. The petals are a little bit heavier than typical petals, although that's not really what got me to get this one. The leaves are a little bit abnormally colored and I detected some fragrance on it in the store and this totally paid off because I wound up with a fragrant orchid. So that's my advice to you if you're orchid shopping out and about and you are looking for fragrant orchids. I can't stop smelling this, it smells so good. 
Um, if you're out and about, you're looking for fragrant orchids, definitely follow this advice and you may become lucky and get an orchid that is fragrant. And a fragrant Phalaenopsis is awesome. I was so tired of Phalaenopsis orchids. I was like really done with them. Now that this whole world of fragrant orchids is opening up to me more and finding fragrant Phalaenopsis orchids, it has now become a lot more exciting. So happy smelling and happy growing. I hope you guys enjoy your day and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care. Have a good one. Bye bye.